Maple syrup urine disease, or MSUD, is a rare, sometimes deadly, single gene disorder. The mutation in the DNA sequence that causes MSUD is located on the 19th chromosome. Maple syrup urine disease may be the result of a frame shift or point mutation on the BCK DHA gene. Scientists are uncertain which exact point in frame shift mutations lead to MSUD, but the majority of MSUD cases occur due to random changes in the BCK DHA DNA sequence, which are passed on recessively. Without the correct information from the BCK DHA gene, BCKD, an essential protein complex cannot be made properly. Normally, BCKD is responsible for breaking down the amino acids leucine, isoleucine, and valine, but the defective MSUD BCKD complexes cannot accurately degrade these amino acids, leading to an accumulation of them in the bloodstream. As long as the buildup of leucine, isoleucine, and valine is kept to a minimum, these amino acids may be discharged from the body through urination. The high levels of leucine, isoleucine, and valine in the urine of an individual with maple syrup urine disease causes it to emit a sweet odor reminiscent of, you guessed it, maple syrup, which gives the genetic disorder its name. This may be the only symptom a sufferer of MSUD experiences, as long as they carefully monitor their diet and keep it under control. If they are careless and eat a diet high in leucine, isoleucine, and valine, which are highly concentrated in foods such as meats, eggs, and nuts, they are likely to experience more severe symptoms. Episodes of severe pain, seizures, coma, and death occur due to some extreme cases of amino acid accumulation. In general, the rate of children born with MSUD remains at a relatively constant 1 out of 180,000 births, or 0.00056% internationally. However, the Old Order Mennonite population in Pennsylvania experiences MSUD significantly more often, as it is present in 1 out of 176 live births, or 0.57%. That is more than a thousand times the international mean birth rate of babies with MSUD. Maple syrup urine disease follows an autosomal recessive inheritance pattern, meaning that in most cases, both parents must be at least a carrier of the recessive MSUD gene. This Punnett square displays the most frequent genetic combination that leads to maple syrup urine disease in an individual. Typically, both parents of a child with MSUD are carriers of the disorder, although they are usually unaware of this before they decide to reproduce. The child must inherit two recessive MSUD alleles from his or her carrier parents, which occurs in about one in every four children the couple has. This pedigree displays an autosomal recessive inheritance pattern as well, and exhibits how commonly the recessive MSUD allele can be passed down for generations without affecting any offspring. Unless a spontaneous mutation occurs, both parents must at least be carriers, which makes the chance of MSUD occurring in offspring 25%. If one parent has MSUD, the chance rises to 50%. If both parents have MSUD, the offspring will generally contract MSUD 100% of the time, although it is very rare that both individuals in a couple will be affected by MSUD. Generally, the disorder is diagnosed by a screening less than 24 hours after birth. Many states have laws requiring the screening of MSUD, as it can be deadly to an infant if not recognized soon after birth. This screening takes a blood sample of an infant and tests it for significantly high levels of the amino acid leucine. If there are extremely high levels of leucine in the baby's blood, doctors may be able to diagnose it with MSUD and immediately begin to treat it with a diet not including many meats, nuts, eggs, cheeses, or other dairy products. As long as a patient stays on their specially modified diet, they will usually not need any other treatments and be able to lead a rather normal lifestyle. In case of unexpected accumulation of leucine, isoleucine, and valine, a complex solution may be given intravenously to a patient to help their bodies repurpose the unwanted amino acids for protein synthesis. No cure is currently available, but scientists believe that gene therapy, a method in which stem cells are used to create normally functioning body cells, may be able to treat or even cure maple syrup urine disease in the near future. So, sufferers of MSUD have hope. Scientific advancements are giving us more information on genetic disorders like MSUD than ever before. Who knows, perhaps in a few decades or even years we will have eradicated maple syrup urine disease and other genetic disorders once and for all. Check out the links shown to receive more info on maple syrup urine disease. These are three amazing organizations dedicated to educating the public about genetic disorders like MSUD. You can call the National Organization of Rare Diseases at 203-744-0100.
And thank you to all of my sources. I could not have made this project possible without you guys.